hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love today i will be showing you how i made the upper part of this dress the video is divided into two parts i'll be uploading the skirt part later if you're new here thank you for stopping by and to my old subscribers i say a very big thank you to you i know i've been away for some time please do well to subscribe to my channel if you are new here turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video please give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the video hey guys this is the pattern i'll be using the link to how you can draft this pattern will be in the comment section this is the sleeve it's just a basic sleeve that i've always drafted i just only just traced it out and then i curved the bottom part of the sleeve and then i'm using an um, ordinary satin fabric i have about nine yards of satin fabric but i already cut out some parts to make for a sister what i mean is the length is about the the length of the satin fabric is about 16 inches but you can see now it's shorter because i already took out of the length i already took out about nine yards to to make hands so this other part of the satin is what i'll be using for her is about nine yards uh, my lining i'm using is about three yards of lining and i have my lace fabric here my lace fabric is one yard about one yard of lace fabric and i've only used just a little so i'll still be using from the lace fabric for her and i will be using a um, net too i'll be using this two net soft two net for my lining and then i'll be using this net i have so many i can't even tell you how many yards exactly i have here but it's up to 10 yards or more i'll be using this for the down part of the day. so I will start by altering my pattern. So this is the back body. I'm just going to set this aside. And this is the front. So the front has yoke. So for the yoke part, it's more or less like a very tiny sweet art neckline. So I'm going to drop down by five inches. From the shoulder measurement, I'm dropping down by 5 inches. And then I'm going to use my curve ruler. So I'm going to measure what I have for the chest area. I'm not really bothered because I'm still going to use lace trim to detail the upper part. So from the neckline, it's more or less like 3 and a half inches. In the center front this is okay it's like four inches now so this is what i'll be using and then from the side is five inches but from center front is four inches so this is the neckline that i will work with for the front and then for the back i need to come to the armhole and drop down by same five inches and match it i'm going to take my curve ruler and i'm just going to make a curve to the zipper line and see what i'm doing i'm going to make this curve So this is what I have I'm built. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And this is what I have for the back. I'm going to cut the front. And this in the front. So guys, I have my satin fabric here. Um, my pattern for the upper bodies. I'm just going to place it on top of my satin fabric and I'm going to take 
half an inch seam allowance for the up. This pattern already has allowance. So I'm only adding allowance to this upper part. Only adding allowance to the upper part. So you can see I only added this allowance here because I'm going to use it to join this down part to the yoke part because there's no allowance there. So now you need this to join it so that you get the actual length that you are working with. So now this satin fabric I'm going to use to cut out the lace and the lining. This is just for the front and I've not cut out the yoke part yet. So I'm just going to cut my lace fabric now I'm going to place my pattern on top so guys I've cut out the front I cut out lining, satin and lace fabric so this is what I have for the front I'm just going to set this one aside for the back the back is like so, like so. Now I'm going to take this part and use it to cut out lining and satin. So now I have my satin here and I have my lining here. I'm going to place it on top of each other so I can cut the, the both of them at the same time. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my fabric like so you are going to give half an inch seaming allowance around here now i'm going to go ahead first and cut it so this is how you are going to cut this part you're going to take half an inch seaming allowance only on this part because that's what you use to attach it to this one so now i already cut out the satin and my lining i cut them together i'm going to set this one aside i'll just put the stuff on top so i don't miss it so now i'm going to take my lace fabric so because i want the design at the middle so i'm going to take my pattern paper now i will need half an inch allowance around here too So this is the middle of the back. I'm going to set the list aside for the back. So next thing we're going to cut the yoke parts and we'll be using our plain net to cut this yoke part for the upper bodies. So because this net this lace comes with nets on this other side. This is what I will be using. So I'm going to place my pattern on top like so. And I'm going to give my half an inch. So now I have my yoke for the upper part of the dress. I'm going to add, add it close to the upper body. So now I'm going to take my pattern paper for the front and I'm going to tape it back. I'm going to tape it back because I'll be using it to cut a um, plain tube. That's what I'm using to lining it this is my plain tool here i'll be using this pattern to cut it so let me quickly tape it back so guys i've gone ahead to um tape my pattern back so you can choose to cut this part first just so that you don't go and start taping your pattern so i'm going to place my pattern on top of 
my net this is my net look at this is like normal net that you can use to combine your your cloth so i'm going to place it on top it's folded into two and i'm going to cut it so this is for the front this will be serving as my lining so i'm going to go ahead and cut the back now now this is the back so i'm going to secure all the back together with pin so i don't miss it so i'm going to go ahead now and cut the sleeve so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out lining for the sleeve i'm going to be using this net as lining for the sleeve So now I'm going to set the sleeve aside. So I'm going to take the front bodies first. And this is the satin. I'm going to open it up. And I'll top stitch. I'm going to top stitch it around. After top stitching it around, I'll take the yoke. And I'll secure the middle with pin. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew the yoke on it. After sewing the yoke on it, you can see it's facing this part. Don't flip it open yet. Take your lining and then sew it on it like so. After sewing it, before you turn it over and then you top stitch it so let me go and do this part first so this is the front part i'll attach the yoke to it and then after doing that i top stitched it round with the lining so they are together now i'm going to set this one aside and i'm going to take the back so i'm just opening the zipper line let me put this is the front and this is the back for the two this is the tool lining so guys i'm going to take this pattern and use it to stick cut out the lace i actually forgot that part so guys i'm done cutting the lace i forgot so this is it i just placed it on top of the satin like so so you are going to take your the center of your back like so like this so it's either you go and top stitch the lining that is the satin and your lace fabric first before you attach it to this one or you can place it on top like this so flip it like so and sew your half inch around the curve so guys let me go and attach this one to it first before i'll show you how you attach the lining so guys i'm done attaching it like so so i'm going to take the lining now and i'm going to flip it over to the wrong side i'm going to place my lining so this is the lining like this i'm going to flip it like this and sew it i'm going to sew it like so so that by the time I turn it, it will be like this. And then after doing that, I'll top stitch it. So guys, I'm done attaching the back. This is it. So now I'm going to take the front. This is the front. I'm going to join it on the shoulder. Right side facing right side. Join it on the shoulder like so. Take this one. Join this side on the shoulder too with half an inch. And I'm going to take this tool, that's my lining tool. I'm just going to join it on the shoulder, both the front and the back bodies are joined on the shoulder. So guys, I'm done joining it on the shoulder. I also just use the, the tool to turn the neck of the main 
fabric so this is it. just right side facing right side and then leave one inch from the zipper line and then stitch it around with your half an inch so after stitching it i didn't notch mine i trimmed off the excess so i'm just going to turn it aside turn it out and set it aside i'll take the sleeve and i'm going to use the net to turn the main fabric from the under now it will be it is so the net itself doesn't really have any right side so i'm just going to place it like so it's facing the right side of the main fabric the lace and i'm going to sew the down part of the sleeve this down part i'm going to sew stitches maybe with quarter of an inch like so and then i'll turn it over once i turn it over like so i'm going to go ahead and top stitch it all around i'll do the same thing for this other sleeve so guys i'm done turning the sleeve I'm going to take the bodies now. So I'm going to separate it like so you can see the way I'm opening it and the lining, the two lining is flying this way. So I'm going to take it now like so. And this is it. So make sure you notch the middle of your sleeve. So this is my sleeve now i'm going to start the sleeve from this joining here i'm going to place my sleeve like so here i'm going to place it like this here on this point and i'm going to secure the middle with pin the middle to the shoulder joining with pin and see we have s's now so this s i'm just going to sew it i'm going to sew it when i get to about two inches close to the shoulder joining i'm just going to do like i see if i'm pleating or gather it and then for the back i'm going to start from here too from right here and so like that do exactly what i've done in the front side like that so and i will do the same thing for the other side of the sleeve so guys i'm done attaching the hand so I'm going to take the lining now. I'm going to take the lining. So this is the hand, and I'll bend it inside. Take it inside, and then put the shoulder joining of the of the lining. Match it with the look. The sleeve is inside now. So take your lining and then match it with the shoulder joining of your main fabric and then you're going to if you like you can secure with pin or go ahead now and sew it you can see me connecting the armhole connecting the armhole so i'm going to sew it from this armhole down to the other end of the armhole remember you'll be pushing the sleeve inside you will do the same thing for the other side of the sleeve so guys i'm done sewing it i'm going to turn it out Now this is it, after turning it out. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the back bodies like so, and the front bodies like so, and I'm going to sew our allowance. I'm going to sew the allowance down to the two. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I'm done closing the sides this is it so i'm just going to set this upper part on side and we're going to cut the down part 